Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Winning Chaga YouTube channel and thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for subscribing to Winning Chaga. To our new members and our new subscribers, this is the place for you. I know I've been away for a long time. I had to take care of business here and there. But I'm happy to be back and with something good. And I hope you all gonna enjoy this. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Today I have uh, something good for you. And I'm going to share about um, jobs in the United States. I mean, these are like the first that like the careers the easiest careers like the first careers like these are careers that when people get here they first do them before they settle down it doesn't mean that you have to do them for a long time but you kind of get to do them for a certain period of time and then after some time um you stop doing them so when people move here some are lucky they continue with their professions majority of people decide to do other careers some who are lucky continue with their own uh, their careers that they did home but that doesn't happen most of the time uh, so yeah but somehow you will have to do like a course of like six months or a year that translates to an education system, um, an American uh, education system to, yeah, that, that translates to an American education system. So before you work under, I mean, before you work with your certificates under your career, so. <laughs> That's how that's how it is here. You can't with some careers you can just come from home and you know you you start telling them you know what I have a master's in this I have a degree in this. It depends on what career it is. So they kind of have to make you do like a six month course or a, a one year course before you you work under your career. Yeah. So these are like the kind of uh, jobs that people come here and do before they get to like, these are like stepping stones. And then one thing I'm going to tell people is that once you get here, um, don't ever look, I mean, just assume like nobody knows you, like just assume like no one knows you, like um, no one knows you, no one knows where you're coming from. If you have like 10 masters or 10 degrees, assume like you don't even have them because life here is very expensive. Uh, and a lot of jobs here are hands-on. So, and, but the good thing is that you make a lot of, a lot of money and they pay really good. You're getting paid hourly, weekly or daily. And sometimes you realize that what you're making back home, sitting on, <laughs> I mean, making, what, what you're making back home and doing less job is peanuts. And what you're making here, doing hands-on, you know, <clears throat> cash your jobs is sometimes like even five times or 10 times what you're making back home or even 10 times. So like I said, just put down, lower your standards and go to work and life will be good. But if you will come here with a mentality that, you know what, I left my, my job back home. Okay, yes, you left your job back home, but how much money are you making? You're making maybe like $300 or maybe 150 and rolling on a chair the whole day at the end of the month you only made like 200 or 300 but here you're doing a casual job and you're making like 
uh, maybe like uh, 2,000 end of the week, $2,000 end of the week, or, you know, so there's a big difference. So really it doesn't matter what kind of job you're doing here, but what matters is the number of hours you put at work, the effort, determination, and your positivity, and your thinking. That's all matters. You don't have to go to school once you move here. You can have like three jobs and or two jobs, but the number of hours you work here is what it's it's what determines how much money you're gonna make at the end of the day or end of the week or end of the the month. But here we get paid hourly, we get paid weekly or yeah, we get paid hourly and some jobs actually pay you like daily, but uh, the pay here is you get paid weekly, that's what I know, or bi-weekly, but it's not monthly. So yeah, and some jobs they pay like daily. So I'm gonna go uh, straight to the point and say that the kind of job that people mostly do here, and I'm gonna start with a big one, <coughs> which is healthcare. Healthcare is so huge here, and it has a lot. You can be a help, uh, a healthcare aide, med aide, a nurse. You know, it's huge. So you you can't when you when you have like a course in healthcare, or you don't have to have a course, but because some places they hire like home health uh, nurses, aides, uh, and they need people every single day. So yeah, they hire people every day and it's a very huge thing here. So you get jobs every day and you're good to go. You can be a barber. You just have all you have to do is buy your stuff or and go to people's houses. You can just be like uh walking, you just buy your equipment and knock at people's door and ask them like do you want me to make your hair before you settle down just do that for like a short time or when you, you're home you can do like a part-time job and you just cut their hair you can also be like a hairdresser and honestly hairdressers they make a lot of money like braiding hair costs like uh from sixty dollars that's the cheapest sixty to two hundred dollars and above depending on what you're getting so you can be anything and you can be a nanny <coughs> babysitter or a nanny nannies here make a lot of money uh starting from ranging from seven hundred dollars to eight hundred dollars so if you are a babysitter a nanny stroke a house help and you want to come and try your luck go ahead here they pay really, really good and yeah um restaurants hire every single day and you can either work in the restaurant as a waitress a cooker or server a driver cleaner they have like all positions in the restaurants you can be a driver and drivers here are needed like everything here it's you know uber eats you can be a driver that you do deliveries food deliveries or uber eats or peop most people shop are uh, like they shop online mostly so you can imagine people don't even go to shop to the stores they just buy stuff online and they get delivered to the to the house so anything you can do it you can just go to work and then when you're home and you just sign up to the apps they have like several apps like doordash uber or some kind of uh food deliveries and you just sign up to the apps when you're home you just make like a part-time or PRN job and you just uh, do it uh, you can be a mechanic a gardener landscaping or mowing and the good thing here is guys uh, they cut grasses the state manages the grasses 
kachu i mean nyasuku zinakatwa so you just you know you mow the grass and you get paid <laughs> and again you can be a receptionist uh if you have like you know a good smile you can just stand there and that's kind of I've seen people like who just stand at the door and all they do is smiling and getting people's uh, opening the door and you know getting people in and out if you can do that it's very easy you just stand there and getting people in and out so also you can be a translator you know they need translators every single day you don't have to be like um, any translation any language because here people are it's like a diverse place so like language barrier is huge uh, so like translation they need translators from all kinds of places so if you're interested you can you can do that people do it as an a uh, part-time job and they get paid well and also you can be an electrician uh you can be like a patrol officer you can also join the military if you're good in that if you wish to do that uh you can be an insurance sales uh you can be an, like insurance sales agent they actually disturb like they are hectic but they they do a good job though but they stay on the phones you know keep calling you all in again again you know, you want insurance you know they call they make phone calls all the time like you have to get insurance again 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 I mean I have my insurance but they keep calling you all again and again and then you can be a recreation and fitness worker you can be a plumber maintenance repair um, nail technician if you're good in nails so still there are a lot of jobs flight attendants landscaping uh, I think I see that and then there's massage therapist <sighs> yeah if you're good in massage <laughs> just, you can do that so and again tracking is a big thing here if you're you're a good I mean if you're a good driver People are making lots of money with tracking. All you have to do is buy your own truck or you don't have money to buy your own truck. You can use somebody's truck as you get, you know, to settle down to get yours. But tracking is big business here. People are making lots of money with tracking and I'm thinking to get my own truck, maybe, maybe not, yeah. Also, you can be a, a dog walker if you like dogs and it's also like a good exercise. Sometimes when you feel like you're out of job, if you do like a, a day shift job and you're out by like five, you can do like a part-time job, especially during the summer. And yeah, you can be a, a dog walker and it's good. You can also be like movers like people move from state to state you only do like buy a truck and you help them to move from place to place or apartment to another apartment and also when people move from one apartment to a different apartment they need like people to clean apartments so yeah they need cleaners every single day so also you can do that you can be a security guard uh, also working in warehouses uh, warehousing here is like a big thing they have different companies all over and they em employ people every single day so yeah they like you package uh, they package and people I mean they, they package stuff so they have like lots and lots of positions in warehouses and you can't miss a job because companies are big and huge and all over here so like it's a big place and like you know yeah 
stores are all over walmart amazon is huge and they pay actually amazon pays really good here and they have like from the salesperson uh from the park uh the like salesperson to the managerial positions where the person uh the minimum employee makes like 15 dollars an hour so you can imagine you still make like good money so yeah just think about it and then also um also you can i mean and those are like like i said those are like the jobs that when you first come here you do those ones as you you're looking for your you know you're waiting for your documents or you're still processing your um stuff to get into your career and then once you get your stuff done you can now venture into your career and do what you like and that's it you don't have to do that for a long time but some people once they get there they get comfortable they get their money and they forget about you know getting out because they realize that you know what i can do this and i'm making a lot of money so they forget to go to school they forget to they get comfortable so it's really up to you it's up to you and you don't have to do anything once you get there and you like the job it's up to you on what you want to do with your life no one tells you on what to do it's up to you the good thing with here is that um, when you go to school your pay goes high I mean your pay increases the more you the more you go to school the more education you get the more pay you get so yeah that's the good thing with here and then uh, another thing is that Every state has their own minimum wage. Uh, so like, and it, it varies, like it varies with every state. So you can't paid, you can't get paid less. Like they can't, uh, no one will just wake up and say, you know what, I'm gonna pay you $5. I'm gonna pay you $2, no. So every state has its own minimum wage and that's what you get paid and you can go and bargain and you say you you say you know what this is what I want to be paid and if you don't give me this one this much I'm going to the next job and another good thing is this jobs here people are hiring every single day you're fired here today not even today you're fired here now the next minute you are needed you quit here now you are getting hired the next second so like employees are needed every single day companies are fighting for employees every single day unless you get tired all you need is energy to work unless you get tired all you need is just eat have energy go to work but jobs are all over people are working uh, unless you get tired or you get burnt out yeah so guys i think i've done good and uh kindly if you like my video if you like what i've done uh don't forget to comment like and yeah keep subscribing always this is the place for you and i love you so much also i um <laughs> subscribe guys i love you so much and like i said this is the jobs are all over here uh people are getting hired every single day people are getting fired and hired every single day so come and get hired and subscribe i'm gonna show you like some good stuff some good things and you're going to enjoy so we are just studying and we are enjoying this and it's gonna be fun so yeah thank you so much and i love you but
don't forget to subscribe like and comment